Flat Earther's I mean, talking the, point explodes thing, right in front of his face. Have, if you have a container with gas, the gas cannot be more concentrated on the bottom versus the top because gases always uniformly fill their container. So there's no such thing as less gas up here, more gas down here in an yes, actual container. No, there yes. isn't, Nick. Open up a soda can. No, there can. isn't. Open up a soda can. What does it do? It, it equalizes. equalizes the pressure because the pressure Correct. is always equalized. But on planet so, Earth, guess what? The pressure isn't equalized. The pressure is greatest should. at the bottom, and it gets less as you go up. That's how Correct. it actually so, okay. works. So then why does if it rain? If you put gas in a container, why does it rain? the pressure will always equalize. But that's why not does what it we rain? have on planet Earth. Then why does Ergo, it rain? your explanation is incorrect. You're wrong because you're, you're just spitting out facts you think wrong. to be true. Literally the flat earther movement is something that really encapsulates just how harebrained conspiracies are around the world. No pun intended. Billions of people have circumnavigated east and west. Zero people have done it south. Nobody's gone south and popped up on the other side of the world. Could this not be due to the treacherous conditions of, of uh, you know, obviously the North Pole, South Pole? It's pretty tough to travel Likely. through something like that. A lot of people seem to think that the flat earth concept was a really antiquated but popular view, and that's just not true. First, I want to recommend this book by Kelly Weil, Off the Edge where she looks at the history of the Flat Earth Movement. And what she found was it really only became semi-popular in conspiracy circles in the 1800s. It was popularized in part by Samuel Robotham. And he was a grifter of sorts and he jumped around from cause to cause, but he really helped push this in different pamphlets. And people started to believe it. And they would go on and espouse these same views. And you can see a lot of the same conspiracy behavior now mimicking the origins of the flat earth concept. And what that underscores is how this isn't really about ideas or a lack of evidence. It's really about a behavior pattern in humans. It's people trying to make sense of extremely complex things, and they feel comfort in finding a very simple solution. The world is big and massive and complex. Thinking it's flat helps them feel at ease. But what happens so often is when people get sucked into these conspiracy movements, they're then subject to a wide range of other conspiracies. And we've seen that in modern day. But weirdly enough, flat earth is what drove people into all of these other spaces. And for a while, the issue was that YouTube was feeding people these conspiracy videos. There was a flat earth conference in North Carolina in 2018 and a vast majority of people who were interviewed by researchers who attended found out about this through YouTube videos. How they arrived there varied, but a lot of them were there because of 9-11 conspiracy videos. And now a lot of these same communities are deeply anti-vaccine, they think COVID is a hoax, they're really into QAnon, and they're into a wide range of other conspiracies. But what's really, really remarkable about all of this, there's one consistent through line. The guy who helped popularize this, Samuel Robotham, he also got his start pushing miracle cures. And that is something that is widely popular in conspiracy movements today. And that's especially timely because that's something Alex Jones likes to push as well. And he is currently on trial for defamation for pushing the idea that Sandy Hook and the shooting at Sandy Hook was a hoax. And he went on then to defame the parents of the victims to help push that conspiracy theory, all for profit for his store where he was selling things like miracle cures and nutritional supplements. It's unbelievable how history just continues to repeat itself in all of these communities. They have a formula and it works and it works for them, the people who purvey it. They make a ton of money preying on people's confusion and insecurity. People want an explanation for how complex the world is. These people are there to profit on that. And that's really sad. But this general anti-science pro-conspiracy mindset poses a threat to all of us because it also applies to climate change. It also applies to other existential crises. When you have a segment of the population willing to believe anything they hear or read or see on the internet, never once questioning who is pushing it and why they're pushing it, it really dumbs down the populace and makes it easier for corporate interests and other nefarious actors to behave in ways that are detrimental to society. So we really need to remain vigilant and question everything, but also accept that sometimes 
Science is just science. Fact is fact. And not fall into these traps. As much as it might feel good to find comfort in an easy explanation for a complex scenario, it's just not helpful.